What's going on, guys? Today we're going to be doing 29.5 OG Outlaw Tire Review. They're a heck of a tire. I'm going to be doing the, the weight, the true height, uh, and then just kind of give you a full rundown on these tires and the pros and cons of this tire. So let's get straight to it with the true height. Okay, so there they are up against a 28 inch mega mayhem they have no air in them the ogs and they they're way taller so let's set this ruler on top there so we get the highest point and get this tape measure out where's the place i can prop up the camera at? oh that ain't gonna work is it Prop up his camera. Oh no, my tape measure fell. Well, hang on, I'll figure out a way to prop this up. One second. Alright, can't figure out a way to prop it up. I'm just gonna try and do this one handed. Grab the tape measure. Stick that right there on the ground. Bring it right up, and it it's gonna be right at 29 and a half inches. I mean, it is basically a true 25, 29.5 inch tire. It, it's gonna be that because it's real. It's really gonna be about 30 because it's a 29.5 with no air in it and once i get air in them things they'll air up another half inch or so 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 your true height's gonna be let's call it 30 inches uh now let's move on to the weight which this part's gonna be kind of tricky all right i gotta weigh real quick see how much i weigh with the full dress and everything then uh, hang on i might be able to do this with just the tire Ugh. Oh, my thumb. Let me just roll this thing over here onto the scale. So I'm going to press on it and get it registering. Zero. Oh. Okay. 47.2 pounds. That's how much these 29 fives is at. It's at 29 five by by nine, by 10 29 by, 29 by 10 by 12 so that's how much it's gonna weigh now i'm gonna give y'all a complete rundown on these tires so let's first start off with the pros of these tires so they got a real pat they got a real um paddle like uh tread pattern so they're, they're gonna paddle through those bottomless holes like, they're not a tire that it, the mud hole has to have a bottom. They're not a tire that likes to dig down to the bottom of a mud hole. They're more of a paddle-like tire. They like to stay on top of that mud, just paddle right through it. And now, let's go to the cons, which, first of all, it's on a 12-inch wheel, which is kind of small. My Mega my hands on a 14, and it's going to float. They're a floaty tire. I'm gonna be running on probably two PSI. They're still gonna float. So if you're on a Honda like me, you're gonna be floating. But the good thing about floating those, it'll float straight through some of them thick holes. Now, I wanna see how, where's the slurry there? How tall that lug is in the, that one and a half inch lug, like at the, the front, like normal lug. Now let's check the side lug. About one and a half inches also, guys. So I have one and a half inch top lug, one and a half inch side lug. That's another thing, these sidewalls, look at that. I mean, they don't really grab onto the side of them ruts. And it's, 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 
will go almost anywhere you want it to these tires but where you are going to find these tires fail at what i've seen so far sandy holes that like um like clay these are really good in thick clay but whenever you get in that sandy stuff where the bottom just falls out from underneath you these tires kind of struggle and that's almost the only thing they struggle at but almost all of our holes around here are just thick clay um that's gonna be basically it for this tire review there's not much to say about them you got the weight you got the height got y'all the lug the lug height the side lug height gave y'all the pros and cons would i recommend this tire of course i mean you can't go wrong with the og outlaw no matter if you're driving a can-am or a honda the only thing i would not get this tire for if, if you're mainly just gonna be water riding do not get this tire i'd go with the silverback because it's it, they're not gonna float and they still have this pattern but they're not gonna stay on top of holes like this og outlaw will so thank you guys for watching uh let me know if y'all want me to do a uh og outlaw versus mega mayhem versus cryptid tire review or just a mega mayhem versus cryptid tire review and we'll go hole for hole me and Sheila. so thank you guys for watching i will see y'all guys on the next video let me know what you thought of this i'll see you bye